Turkish forces launched airstrikes against Kurdish targets in northern Iraq and rounded up dozens of suspected members of the PKK separatist group inside Turkey. The government moved swiftly in retaliation for a deadly suicide bombing that killed 37 people in Ankara. CCTV's Natalie Carney has more from the scene of the explosion in Turkey's capital. Terrifying. The word of Inji Khan, an employee of Photo Express, just meters away from the explosion site. She shows us security camera footage of the moment the bomb went off. She credits her dog for saving her life. My dog was acting up and crying. He made me move away from the window. Thanks to him, I had the chance to get away from the broken pieces of glass. It was very terrifying. We experienced it before, so I immediately understood that it was a bomb. But this time it was scarier and closer. On Monday, crowds huddled around police barricades as forensic personnel continued their investigations, hindered by pouring rain. Seventy people remain hospitalized with more than a dozen in critical condition. At the city morgue, family members gathered to collect the bodies of loved ones. While officials suspect the PKK is to blame for the attack, some blame the government and President Recep Tayyip Erdogan for the current instability in the country. He can get me detained, but he should give me back my nephew. Let him come here. I'll insult him to his face. I say it from here. I will insult him, and he can file a lawsuit. He insisted on presidency, and many people lost their children here. My nephew was 16. He was a young man who went out to have fun, and we took his dead body last night. Other victims include a security guard, a civil servant, the father of a famous football star, and a 20-year-old female university student. Following the attacks, Turkish military jets bombed Kurdish militant positions in northern Iraq in a continuing effort to wipe out the PKK. I am calling on all terrorist organizations and the forces behind them. You cannot weaken our will. After this incident, after the name of the terrorist organization was established, our armed forces carried out a comprehensive operation in northern Iraq. Our fight against these terrorist organizations continues with resolve. Turkish Prime Minister Ahmed Davutoglu also says 11 people have been detained in relation to Sunday's attack, while dozens of other suspected PKK militants were rounded up in raids conducted nationwide. Every day such events are happening in Turkey. That's enough. I want it to end. I can't stand that much pain anymore. The Turkish government tries to reassure its people and the world that terrorism will not win. Yet that may come as little comfort while Ankara responds to its third attack in less than five months and a civilian death toll of nearly 170 people in the capital alone. Natalie Carney for CCTV in Ankara, Turkey.